Hi, this is Jeff Thornton, and I'm going to show you how to bring in audio from the CD um, to use it for our project. And first I'm going to show you how to use this doing uh, using Windows Media Player. You'll get a screen that comes up like this after you've inserted the audio disc, and you'll notice one of the tabs here says RIP. So I'm going to go down, drop down to Format, and we need to make sure that it's going to bring this in as an MP3 file. Otherwise, it won't work with Audacity. So select that. Um, select whichever track we're going to use. We're just going to, I just want track one from the CD, and I'm going to hit start rip. Once the track has been ripped to my library, you'll see that indicated over here. I'm going to close this. I should be able to go now to my music, or I can also get to it from computer and music, there's a couple steps of clicking here, and I'll see this unknown artist folder. My disc does not have an artist name on it, so it'll just be called unknown artist. Unknown album, and here's my track here. Now, once I take that, open Audacity on this part of the screen, if, it's, if it comes up full size, you can shrink it down and move it over. I'm gonna take that track that I just brought in and drag it over to Audacity. Now I can edit that track here within Audacity. Now I'm going to show you how to bring over an audio track in iTunes. In this version, it's going to look a little bit different. You'll see your audio CD once you've inserted it into the computer will be here. Um, I'm going to select whichever track that I want. Let's say this time I want track 2. Um, now it's real important to make sure you check on your import settings, so click here on import settings and you want to make sure that import using mp3 high quality and you'll click OK and then you'll click okay. import CD and then it will begin importing. Once you finish importing the track you'll see the little green check mark by it. Now we're going to go access the file in much the same way that we did with Windows. we we'll go into either music or computer. I'll go to music this time. We're going to click on iTunes. We're going to have a lot of clicks to go this time. iTunes Media, Music, and we're going to see the name of our title here of our CD. It didn't have a name, so that's Unknown Artist, Unknown Album, and here's our track. So this time we're going to take that track and we're going to drag it over to Audacity. And now we see that that track has also been put into Audacity, and now it's available for editing. And that was done through iTunes.